This is uh, console version 6.1, their new release. And they have a new feature that I wanted to highlight for our customers, or our email list, I should say. And that is related to parameters and how you're able to view the value of a parameter within the settings window when you hover over the parameter value, which is kind of a nice new feature. And so I'd like to show you how that works. So if I'm just going to build a, an example model here from scratch, walking through the model wizard. I'm going to build a 3D geometry and then add solid mechanics. And this part doesn't necessarily need to be included in the, the article. It's just to build the demonstration model. And the idea here is you can build your model based on what are called global definitions parameters. And you can give these unique names. So I could say length of the rod and then give it a value of, say, six millimeters and then this will be the length of the rod that's the description that i just put there and then i could do a diameter of the rod let's make that uh, one millimeter <clears throat> and then what I can do is uh, maybe then apply a, a load. So let's call it load underscore X, which is the load in the extraction. We'll give that one a value of 10 Newtons. So I have these um, various parameters that I can use to build the model. So geometric parameters or loading values like the, the applied force on the rod. And then when I begin building the model, I could add a cylinder, for example. And then instead of typing in the radius and the height of the cylinder as six millimeters divided by two for the radius, or no, it would be uh, one millimeter divided by two for the radius or six millimeters for the height. Instead of doing that, I'll put in the actual parameter values. So we'll call it uh, rod diam divided by two. No, diam rod. So I'm gonna copy this here, divided by two. And then the height will be uh, the length of the rod. And then I can do build selected. So here's the geometry that I just built. What's new in version 6.1 that we'd like to let our customers know about is that if you hover over these edit fields, it will give you the value. So diam underscore rod divided by two, the value is five E minus four meters. If you hover over length of rod, the value is 0 0.006 meters. So that corresponds to the values that you typed in here. Well, previous to version 6.1 of console, you would not know what these values were unless you went back in the model builder tree and clicked here, and then you would have to read those from the values list here. And then what would happen is you might forget by the time you came back down here. So it's just a nice tool tip that console has provided for these. Um, another example would be if you're applying a load for example, a boundary load on the top of the rod, and then you would change it to total force in the X direction. Uh, right now it evaluates to zero, but I could use the parameter here, load underscore X. Put that in to load the system, and it's gonna give me the value of 10 newtons. And so just another example of the same improvement in 
that uh, we wanted to let our customers know about if they hadn't noticed it already. So that's a tip and trick article. Thank you.